Alright, what is up, beautiful people of Sky Nation, my Sky Bros? It's your boy Blue here coming at you with some more Sons of the Forest gameplay. Let's get our volume turned up just a skosh. Oh, it's been uh, two weeks, I think, since we made a video. Uh, since, we, since we last spoke, I went on a little camping trip down to Utah, down to the desert. It was hot as hell and beautiful, highly recommended. And uh, for those of you who actually live in Utah, I'm both strangely jealous and sorry. And I don't know exactly how that's possible. Um, if you remember, as last we left off, we... Sorry, I just wanted... This door just isn't during. Uh, anyways, so we ended up uh, finding ourselves a gun. We were attacked by sharks. Uh, we made a pretty nice... Boy, this this just isn't working as a door. <laughs> We've forgotten all of the controls. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, we made a pretty nice uh, swoop around the island. Um, we discovered that those beacons are actually soldiers, possibly. Uh, from our There we go, that's it. There are soldiers I think from the helicopter that we were in uh, How they ended up all over the island. I have no idea, but you know it is what it is Perfect. All right, so I don't really have a ton of agenda today Really, I want to get that last beacon if possible uh, possibly maybe get some more fish traps? I don't know. I guess we'll have to, I guess we'll have to see. I cannot for the life of me also remember where that fish trap is. I think it's like somewhere around here. Maybe. I'm hoping it didn't just like up and disappear somehow or another. I don't know exactly how that's possible, but you know things happen in games can we no can't kill the turtle i don't know if i would want to though that's really that would be quite sad oh there it is all right we see it i wonder if we can build like a like a marker of some kind so that we can check on this here fish trap it might not have fish in it question mark doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, bad luck. I think we might have uh, might have raided it right before we went to sleep too. So, let's get some water. A little more water, and check to see what we have for food if we don't have fish. Let's see. There we go. All right, well, we have a billion bottles of vodka. Wonderful. Uh, we also have quite a few energy drinks. Got some canned food. I don't know exactly how we uh, open the canned food. We do have a pot, though. Hmm. Don't really want to eat the, the bars. I was really hoping that we would have some fish. We definitely need more fish traps. That's one thing that is abundantly clear at this point. But let's see if we can actually snag us a fish. I'm hopeful. I'm feeling pretty dang hopeful. We just have to, just have to find one. We'll also say we're not super hungry right now, so we may just we may just let bygones be bygones and eat something different at a different time. Man, I sure wouldn't mind getting one of those turtles. Some <laughs> delicious turtle soup. Amazing. I also I am curious, maybe we just exhausted all the fish out of this little this little river. I think that would I mean it seems or I'm sorry, this lake rather. Um that seems like... Well, there's one. I hope that they repopulate somehow. 
Can we just like swim up and catch the? No. All right. What was that? Oh my God! It's a mud man. All right. First mud man of the day. Bright and sun shiny early. Great. I want to. We also we need to try to start seeing if we can feed them. Uh, I know that you can feed them limbs apparently. Well, we have a lot of twin berries. That's Devil's Club. Salmon berries. Can you eat salmon berries? I think so. Maybe a bit. I don't want to just start eating mushrooms. Alright, let's see how these twin berries do. Okay. I, yeah, no, twin berries, I think, are poisonous. Good to know. Boy, we are really on the struggle bus today as far as finding food. But I don't want to, like, go into the forest with just a hungry stomach. Because, you know, inevitably we're going to find blueberries and we're going to have to eat them one at a time. Which is just spectacular. I gotta say, really fun game. Easily the biggest gripe is that you can't eat blueberries by the handful. Having to eat blueberries one at a time with like the paltry amount of health that it fills up, it just, it just, it just irritates me. I can't help it. It just is mildly irritating for me. But we do have a gun now. I mean, we could, we could shoot a duck. If we really, really wanted to. I know this is uh, some compelling gameplay footage as you watch me circle around this lake, inevitably starving to death, not finding any kind of food. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna do the blueberry thing, and we are gonna vow to make more fish traps today. So many fish traps. We're not going to have to be running amok anymore in this forest. Looking for food. Maybe we'll set some animal traps, too. I think it'd be a good idea. All right, one more swoop around the, uh, around the old lake here to see if we can snag ourselves a fish for breakfast. And if not, we are moving on. Lesson learned. We'll allow the hunger to be our teacher. I can get that turtle though. Nope. I also think you can throw the spear too. Is that. Yeah. I wonder if we can just like throw the spear. I wonder if we can throw it and actually get that turtle. I don't want to waste the spear, but I, I do like the experiment. Ha! Get it? Experiment? Oh, there's a boat down there too. Here we go. This guy. Right here. That's our breakfast. We just need to line it up. That was terrible. Terrible. Alright. It's time it's time to move on. We've been we've been searching for breakfast for utterly too long. Ah, uh, so let's see. Let's find our GPS. So, I wanted to see if we could get this last beacon. The beacons really have some good stuff. Uh, we ended up getting, well, from the last one, we got a felling axe. Uh, or I guess two beacons ago, we got a felling axe. Uh, we were able to get um, a gun, which is amazing. That will certainly come in handy. Um, so, you know, I think it's, I think it's worth, a, worth a try. We got our whooping stick now. I 
find the more that I play, the less I find myself getting, like, afraid of the sounds, the mud men sounds that just are ever present. All right, here we go. a little, little uh, indecision right there. I mean, we can maybe bring a fish with us. I don't think it'll be rotten by the time we get home. Oh, I'm so bad at fish catching. I do wish that this were just like other games where you could just like walk up and grab them, swim behind them, snag them. Like Skyrim is a great example of that. You just swim around and pick up fish and it's just incredible. But, alas, no. Because this is a realistic survival sim. Kinda. In the best way possible. Alright. I think we're getting close-ish. I gotta say... We, I think we've only run into a single cannibal camp here, It's which is pretty incredible that the place that we opted to put the Cabin of Dreams is just a very short distance away from, like, the only cannibal camp that we've run into. Like, we could have just kept on trucking, and we would have been fine just fine. Also, if you hear a, a small growl in the background, uh, that is my little dog. His name is Pickles. He growls and he barks and, you know... He's just, that's how he is. That's what he does. This beacon is, like, way far out here. I think it's going to be something good, though. I have a feeling. I have a good feeling about this beacon. There we go. All right, we're actually, like, making some progress now. satiate our intense hunger by eating blueberries one at a time but I don't want to get like too hungry I don't know exactly what the penalties are for hunger but we don't want to find out not in a cannibal infested land the road that should take us pretty close to this beacon. Well, 
Oh, it's just a just a little river. Oh, now we can practice our turtle hunting skills. Hey, all right. Got ourselves a turtle. I hope we can use the shell for something. Perfect. Got some turtle meat. Oh. So he just. Yeah, so he just, he's just very wasteful for the survival game. Like, you should take the whole turtle. Take the meat, and the shell, and all the stuff. Ooh, okay. All right. So there's a grave here. Well, that I wasn't really expecting. I don't know if we have anything to, like, dig it up. Maybe there's, like, a shovel that we can build? Somehow? Maybe there's, like, a an encampment around here? Maybe we can ask our friends the Mudmen to dig him up. Alright, let's see if we can make a shovel. Let's see. Storage. Tools. Oh, there's a rain catcher. Birdhouse, a scarecrow, sleds. Planters, traps. This might be the wrong side of it, though, too. Let's see. There's fire. Stairs. Walls. Door locks. Ropes. A rope bridge. Electricity. That sounds nice. All right. Cool. Good to know. Tent. Fire. Fire. No, I'm not seeing any kind of way to build a... Yeah, that is an annoying sound. But at least we know what we're up against. That's something. Oh, we have a cooked fish in the inventory. I totally forgot about that. That. Perfect. I'm sure it's still delicious and nutritious. Great. Yeah, I don't think we can hand grenade our way out of this one. Well, the only thing that I can think of is maybe like, no. Okay. Well, eventually we are going to have to find a We're going to have to find a shovel. That's all there is to it. we can figure out where we are. Maybe we can, like, explosive our way out of it. Yeah, we're, like, way out in the willy wax. Alright, well, we can maybe take a semi-roundabout way home. Make some fish traps and we'll call it an episode. We did literally nothing. We, uh, very unsuccessfully hunted for fish while we had fish in the inventory. Uh, we walked all the way across the map to realize we need a shovel, and then we walked back and made fish traps, and that is the entire episode. Thrilling, thrilling gameplay. We're glad you joined us anyways. They can't all, they can't all be, uh, dramatic 
and um, full of excitement. Can they? Oh, but we did find a camp. Maybe we've got some good stuff in this camp. Does not appear to be a cannibal camp. That's good. Cool. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got flares. Awesome. Oh, little propane. Okay, not usable. But our 15th tarp. Lovely. We've got cloth. MREs. Shotgun slugs for our invisible shotgun that we don't have. Printer resin, light bulbs. I want to, we need to find that printer or like figure out what, the, we have a lot of resin. Meds and cereal. All right. It's a pretty good haul. I'll take it. Not terrible. Not terrible. I just, uh, I want to go back and double check. I'm always afraid of leaving something behind. And I heard flies, I think. Yeah, okay. I was thinking maybe there is a body and there was like something on that body. But it doesn't look like it. my goodness it is a cannibal i'm pretty sure i think i just want to test out the gun oh yeah it's totally a cannibal <laughs> amazing no uh, we just don't i don't want the body Perfect. Cannibal around our camp. Serves him right. Oh, man. Kelvin is coming with us. We should have told him to stay. I think that that is easily our biggest. Now we need to find our way back home. figure out the map. All right. So I think we're actually up this way. So I was heading, I, I kept thinking to myself, wow, that's really strange. We walked in like a full circle. We actually did the exact same thing that I think we did last episode, maybe the episode before that, where we just were kind of following Kelvin and ended up in the exact wrong place in the map. So, the hope is now we can find our way back to camp using our incredible geolocation skills. The skills that we learned in the mountains. Check the controls real quick, because I want to see if I know that there's a way to pull up the map. Draw, light, dismantle, GPS tracker, walkie-talkie, primary action, skip. Okay. And 
I think it's starting to get a little dark out. All right, well, we know that we camp by a lake. And I think that our camp is like, I guess what is kind of like northeast of the beacon. So I think if we just kind of keep on heading in this general direction. One of those lakes, I think, is the camp. might be this one very possibly if not we'll check the other one Found a lot of graves. Interesting. Good to know. You should probably start like doing like GPS locations, like putting pings on stuff. No, this is not our lake. Could it be that one? No, I don't think so. That's about the right size. Let's try over here. I gotta say, I, I do want to blame this on Kelvin, but I really, like, I'm, losing the camp, I think, was kind of my fault. And that's okay. We're learning. thinking this is it either. I think it's too close to uh, to the beacon. But you know it's important you got to... Oh it looks like it though doesn't it? Yeah, it's not. Okay. So with that said we will head this way and hope because it's getting dark. Oh, I don't want I don't want to have to set up like a little little tent shelter in the dark, but we will, damn it. Oh, is this a... Yeah, it is. That is a cannibal camp. So we're just going to go ahead and go around that. And remember, it's here. But... We're not, we're not really going to fight that right now. We want to find the Cabin of Dreams. It is getting dark. <sighs> right, there's a big lake right here. I wish we could tell Kelvin to take us back to camp. Now that would be lovely. This our lake? It is not. Man, striking out everywhere. Oh. 
How much daylight do we have left? <laughs> Not that much. All right. We are going to head north. I feel like every time I head a direction, it's just that it feels like it's north because the, the GPS just spins around. So we're heading north right now. So we know it's not any of those two lakes. It very possibly could be one of these two. I'm feeling good about this. This has got to be our lake. Da 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 da. I don't even know if it's a lake. No, nope, this is definitely not our lake. All right, we're gonna try this last one up here, and then I think we are going to. Probably call it a day and say we are lost in the woods. But there's that cave. That could be our lake up there. Alright, we're gonna go this way. So our 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 lake, where the Cabin of Dreams is located, where we are trying to get back to currently. Uh, does sit next to a cave that we have explored a little bit. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing right up here, there is a lake. It's got, it's got some streams. And it does sit close to this cave. So there's a, there's a possibility. My hope is we can get there before dark. But if not, we'll set up the tent at that, that lake. And who knows, maybe we'll build another cabin of dreams have a second one. The Cabin of Nightmares. This is this is feeling more This is feeling better. Cause we did, I believe, yeah, we had to cross a stream to actually get there. So that's correct. I feel like our character has run like 30 miles today, just all around the woods in panic, looking, looking for his home. Okay, this ravine is promising as well, because I, I do believe that our lake is in close proximity to a ravine, so that's good. We've got, we've got signs pointing us in the right direction.
And let's see, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the cabin of dreams. You know, if you can, if you can dream it, you can do it. And we dreamed that we would find our lakeside home. And lo and behold, here it is. What if we cut the fish? get ourselves two fish. Amazing. Well, our hunger levels are moderate, so we might just uh we might just call it a day. Uh as a as a recap, we did nothing. We traveled across the map, didn't have a shovel, lost our camp and got lost in the woods, and then traveled all the way back. So the joys you know they can't all be winners i want to thank you for joining us again sky nation and uh we, of course we appreciate your patronage and your support if you enjoyed this riveting content please hit the like button and subscribe and if you didn't enjoy this episode at all please hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment down below of what kind of gameplay or even what kind of games you would like to see uh we're we're just here trying to bring you what you want because this is all about you the user sky nation uh once again this is your boy blue signing out